sort of like uh, the terrorist mentality, you see? First we take Manhattan. Tomorrow, the world. Today, Manhattan. Tomorrow, the world. We have to begin the show tonight on a very serious note. This is Idiot's Delight. Good evening and welcome. I'm Vin Skelsa, and I'm here tonight at, what is it, about 11 minutes past 8 o'clock. I'm here tonight to do something very serious at the beginning of the show. Yes, I've come before you tonight, friends, to apologize. I owe you an apology. I've been told by all of the people who advise me and represent me and handle me that a public apology is in order, so I've come before you tonight on the radio to apologize for, well, for everything and anything that I may have done in the past and for everything and anything that I may do in the future that has offended you or, 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 or will offend you. I come before you tonight to apologize. I don't, I don't really actually know what it is that I've done. Oh, I've used a few words. But the, but those are words, I, we don't, I, 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 I didn't mean, I didn't really mean, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I didn't mean anything. You know, we talk like that sometimes when we're just like hanging around, you know, with our friends, having a few brewskis or down in the locker room, you know, after, uh, a golf game or something. We, we use words. We say things. We, they, they don't mean anything. We didn't, I mean, I didn't know, I didn't know that the use of those words was offensive to some people. I didn't, I didn't know that, but I, I do, I do apologize. I mean, I'm not, so, I'm not really sorry because, because I didn't mean anything hurtful or offensive by whatever it is that I did in the past or whatever it is I will do in the future. I'm not sorry, but I do apologize. Because, you know, I don't, I don't want you to stop buying my records. And I, and I don't want you to stop watching my TV show. And, 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 uh, and, and I do want your vote the next time election day comes around. So I will apologize for everything, everything that I've done in the past that may possibly offend it. Not only that, but I apologize for this apology because I know. That there are some of you listening right now who think that for me to actually come on the air and kowtow to those who were offended by whatever it is that I did or didn't do uh, is actually uh, a transgression of some sort of taste. And, and, and for that, I apologize. I apologize for the apology. And then for those of you who I am apologizing to in the first place who now are offended because I have apologized for the apology, I uh, apologize to you again as well. I don't, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean it. I didn't, it was, it was a joke. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you take a joke? Don't you have a sense of humor? Can't you read between the lines? Don't you, don't you know that there are certain things that, uh, just sort of, uh, mean certain things and certain other things that just don't mean certain other things. It's, but I, but, but, but I, I apologize. I do. I offer this public apology now, again, for anything in the past that may have offended. Again, for what I'm doing right now, for making the apology, I do apologize. And for anything in the future that may possibly somehow cause some of you out there to feel, uh, you know, ill will towards me, I, 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 I apologize. I do apologize. Didn't mean, I didn't mean anything by it. I'm, uh, not really sorry. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry because I didn't mean anything. What the hell am I, am I, why am I, why should I be sorry? But I, but I, uh, I, uh, this is, this is the, the age of the apology. And I, for one, want to climb on the bandwagon and I want to apologize too. So, so I offer this to you now publicly on the radio. My, my heart felt, my, my, my deeply felt that there are, I'm practically in tears. I can't tell you how many nights sleep I've almost lost over this. I apologize. There. Think that'll make the sons of bitches happy?
recording, as long as we're talking about Jimmy Webb, probably one of the, one of the most famous of the Jimmy Webb recordings is is MacArthur Park. Now, Brian Gary, yeah, lean in, yeah, yeah, lean into this mic here and tell us about what we're about to play. Uh, this is called Allegro from MacArthur Park, and I don't believe it was recorded at the same session. And how you'd know this best? Uh, it wasn't recorded at the same session as MacArthur Park, but it was um, released as a single. Uh, on Dunhill. This is Richard Harris? Uh, no, this is uh, you. A solo oh, record oh, by oh, you. Oh, oh. Uh, arranged by Jimmy Webb. And oh. it's a section of MacArthur Park where uh, you're allowed to go a little crazy. So, uh. Huh. your Gene Krupa impression? Me doing my, these are my monster drums, the big set. This is the giant set. Wow. Of Turn the drum world upside down. It really created, I went from a, a three-piece set of drums to an 11-piece set. Let's drum. listen. Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper here on Idiot's Delight. Now, I have to play something for you because uh, Elvis is everywhere, certainly played a part in a show that I did a while back. It was a show all about Elvis Presley mentions. You know, there are Elvis Presley sightings, of course, in, uh, in the, the, yeah, the you, pulp, you know, newspapers. You had song time. sightings. We did song sightings, all you know, as many songs as we could possibly collect at that time, about a year and a half ago, of Elvis mentions. And um, while there were well over 100, something like 150 that we collected, we took about 50 or 55, I forget the exact number, and put them into um, a montage where they go by in just like three and four seconds. You think seconds. this is safe? You might need a doctor here if you're going to no, play this in no, front of me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this for you, Mojo. You ready now? <laughs> I might now? need oxygen at the end uh, of this. This is the, this is the Elvis montage on Idiot's Delight. Ladies and gentlemen, my farewell to Elvis. It's been a year since the king of rock passed away. I saw Elvis Presley and Amelia Earhart. Saw the ghost of Elvis. Saw Elvis Presley walk out of the 7 Eleven. Elvis up in Michigan or maybe out on Mars. Elvis sighting. Presley to become Che Guevara. He was America's baby boom Che. Elvis was a 
other heroes the most, but he never meant to me. What happened was you died. The man on the radio says Elvis Presley's died. King is dead. King is gone, but he's not forgotten. She remembers the day the Elvis died. King of rock and roll is dead. Nobody knows why Elvis threw it all. Digging up the key. Roberts from Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis! Don't call me Elvis. Memphis! The train from Memphis. I forgot to mention, forgot to mention Memphis. Considering, I'm considering, I moved to Memphis, I moved to Memphis. Every resort to the moon, we both will be received in Greaseland. She said, I know who you're trying to call, darling. And he's not home. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has just left the building. Mojo, I'm sitting here going. Oh my God! Is Mojo in this? I couldn't. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to there at the end, baby. Oh man, you I was so. Oh, <laughs> I was You know, I'm pretty close to you. I can just breathe on it all the way over. Idiot, idiot's delight, be idiot gone. Oh man, I'm like, we're like two minutes into it. I'm going. Well, where's Elvis? Is everywhere. I think Elvis is everywhere. He's in there someplace, and it wasn't. We we quoted from uh, six one nine two three nine King. Right, they call me Elvis, and I'm thinking, oh my God, if there's no, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. If oh, Mojo's gonna be mad. In there. He's kind of scary looking. <laughs> okay, well, so, so as long as it was there, and Mojo's not mad. We can. I'm both, not mad. I'm very we, happy. We can, you know, that I I was once down at the Big Daddy Don Garland's Museum of Drag Racing, um, in uh, it's in outside in Florida, outside of um, Orlando, right. and they had a compilation of um, drag racing. Uh, commercials, you know, Sunday. Right, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at the beginning, they had a, a montage like that of just the best bits. And the, uh, the whole tape's called Be There. And just hearing that first 30 seconds of montage of the craziest bits of all the okay, craziest right, drag racing right. commercials, I, it gives you a heart attack. Oh, sure. You could die. You could give birth. It's just insane. Well, Sunday, be there. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, be there. Yeah, be there, right. Yeah, okay. Payment pounding monster. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Well, I'm glad you survived that so that you could be here tonight. Oh, I, I did survive that. I'm, I'm very glad I heard that. that and, and you can hear and this. And I was very professional, too. It wasn't just, you just didn't throw it together. Oh, no. Hey. Oh, no, you worked the, on that. That was the real stuff. That was okay. the real deal. Was, this is pro radio. Definitely, man. Wow, uptown. Okay. Good day. Got it. Good day. Got it. Say I'm good day. Would you like to be a TV star for a day? Freeman Cosmetics invites you to win a walk-on part on the Fox TV series In Living Color. Look for the Freeman Fox in living color display at your favorite store and enter this exciting sweepstakes today.